going really good and then uh, we kind of slammed on the brakes here recently. Built for comfort, not for speed today. I've been involved with the, the burrow race for 15 years and it, it never ceases to amaze me, I guess because I'm used to it, people don't know about it. <laughs> like, how could that be? <laughs> because it's such a part of our history and our culture here. Uh, but, and people think it's so strange, but once they see it, they're like, this is hard. This is, I mean, these are ultra runners. These, this, it's a hard race. You don't just walk up to the starting line and stop. Uh, this is my new buddy, Piper. P-I-P-E-R. <laughs> uh, I'm from Chicago, Illinois. Piper's local. My wife, heard about burrow racing. I knew no idea, I had no idea what it was. Uh, so she and a friend had signed up uh, and a few weeks ago realized uh, it might have been more than she bargained for. Uh, so I decided to hop on the trip uh, and take over her donkey. Uh, and so that's how I came to meet Piper and uh, we'll see how this goes. Uh, and mostly people that come in from out of town will rent the burrows uh, from a few outfits around here. And so when we rented her, uh, they supply the uh, prospector's pack uh, and they all have to weigh in at 33 pounds or more. Yeah, she knows how to pose. <laughs> From the videos I've watched and the, the people I've talked to, you're at the mercy of the burrow. Uh, so if she wants to do something, you try to follow, uh, as long as it's not off a cliff. We have all kinds of mining, and we still have mining here in, in the area. And um, the burrow was used as a pack animal to get the equipment, because some of these mines are up on the side of a, a mountain, and it was the only way they could get the, the equipment up there. Uh, we've had burrows roaming the streets before. We, you know, we don't have that anymore. We don't have wild burrows here in town anymore. But uh, they are very beloved here in, in Fair Play and have uh, been the reason that the town has flourished over many, many many, many decades. Come on. Hey, all you can do is hope for the best, prepare for the worst. It has nothing to do with me. <laughs> it's all on her today. Talk about stubborn. Stubborn ass. <laughs> Come on. You definitely have to be patient with them because it can get frustrating at some times. But you also just have to enjoy it while you're there because it's like, it's really fun if you let it be. So.